If you're thinking about going on birthright, this video is for you. Hi guys, welcome back to day 6 of our series, Boycott Birthright and Other Free Trips to Israel, where we've been following the birthright propaganda trip going on right now and exposing why going on these trips is probably not the best idea. I hope you guys have learned a lot from this series so far, and if you want to check out our other videos, definitely go do that, but if not, let's get into this one. Alright, here's the itinerary for birthright goers today, and as you can see, they are visiting Mount Herzl to remember the leaders, visionaries, and heroes that made Israel into a reality today. Obviously, this is going to be deeply problematic. Okay, so Mount Herzl is named after a man named Theodore Herzl, this is him, and he is the founder of modern Zionism. Boo. What's interesting about Theodore Herzl is that what pushed him to establish his Zionist political movement was actually a wave of French anti-Semitism. These are quotes from Herzl's foundational pamphlet, The Jewish State. Herzl and his supporters believed that it was the presence of Jews in non-Jewish countries that actually caused anti-Semitism. He weaponized this anti-Semitism in order to push for a Jewish state. Because there wasn't already an established state that Jewish people were living in, Herzl and his supporters recognized that it would take settler colonialism in order to achieve the Zionist political goal. And in order to do that, they had to appeal to colonial powers using anti-Semitism. What's interesting is that we see the material reality of Herzl's Zionist ideology manifesting today. Powerful states like the US will often mention anti-Semitism when talking about their obligation to support Israel. The same way Herzl used anti-Semitism to establish a Jewish state, he also used racism in order to make the case to settle in Palestine. This is a quote from Herzl when he was talking about the ideal geographic location of Palestine. He described it as a wall that would separate Europe from the barbarianism of Asia. He said, we can be the vanguard of culture against barbarianism. Like I mentioned earlier, Zionist political leaders understood that it would take settler colonialism in order to achieve their goal. Here's a quote from Theodore Herzl outlining just that. It's always surprising to me how explicit Zionist leaders are about their goal of ethnic cleansing, but it makes it a lot easier to point it out. So bringing this back to birthright. Today, birthright goers are commemorating an explicitly racist man who made the case for the colonization of Palestine. And of course, he's being regarded as a hero despite his Zionist work. This is the embodiment of propaganda, and this is why birthright trips are so harmful. And as you know, as we've been repeating in this series, this is why BDS is so important. It is so important to boycott birthright or any free propaganda trip to Israel you may be offered because this is what they're teaching. So support BDS, support Palestinian liberation, boycott birthright, and keep following this series for more.